Hey, weather forecast. Since you made contact with me, you're now also controlled by zero gravity. <clears throat> that weird guy isn't anywhere to be seen. We need to get the disc back, quickly! Don't panic. The thief has to be somewhere inside this wash house. He must be hiding. <clears throat> the courtyard's on the other side of that door. Your objective lies just beyond that doorway. However, the door appears to be locked. You might need to blast it away, or force it open somehow. There's... a little bit of a problem. It's sort of hard to say it out loud. The thing is, it's a personal matter. Although, I am at a physical limit, so I'm troubled. Um, and... I don't know why it became a problem so suddenly. Uh, well, but, um, I do think it happens to everyone sometimes. What are you talking about? It's like I was saying. It's related to your lower half. Begins with you. It's a biological urge you have when you're thinking to yourself, thank God it isn't number two. Oh, do you need to take a piss? Don't lean in close to say that. It's, it's getting really bad. You would have to do it somewhere over there. Oh, jeez. I never should have asked, you know, a man, of course. Already did it myself. There. Just now, while floating. <laughs> when you find yourself in zero gravity, the blood in your body will suddenly collect at your head. That blood is usually down in the lower parts of the body, because of gravity. Between your skin and bones is flesh that's squishy and swollen with blood. It's called moon face. <laughs> However, it can be dangerous when too much blood goes up into your head, and thus your kidneys automatically begin working to lessen the amount of blood in you. That's why there's a severe diuretic effect. It removes sodium content through piss and thins out the blood. Wait, hang on a second! Hey, don't worry. My clouds will absorb it. 